Hello and welcome from ITNs. So in the last lecture, we saw the comparison of Docker and virtualization. We saw the trend, how it has been progressing during the last uh, few years. And I hope you guys have created your account on hub.docker.com uh, because that is the starting point wherein you can play with the images that are loaded on the public repository. And also going forward, we are going to look at how you are going to upload your images on the uh, dockhub.docker.com on your uh, account yeah so uh, today the agenda is that we are going to look at installing docker on a windows machine okay looking forward to see you there Welcome back guys. We are going to look at installing Docker on Windows. For that, I am opening my favorite browser and I will go to hub.docker.com. This is the place where we can download the installable for of Docker for Windows. Yeah. Okay, uh, as you can see, I have already logged in with my profile. And now I'll show you how we can create the account. Okay, uh, my account is already created, uh, but for demo purpose, I'm showing you how the steps of creating the account here. Yeah? So, for this, you can key in the user ID which you want to use. Uh, for me, it is 369 Pro IT and email address is 369proit at gmail.com then you can key in your password as per your uh, choice and small uh, step for making sure that you are uh, not a robot it's not a robotic uh, configuration of user account so i mean we have to make some uh, select some images out here as per the uh, requirement and click on verify okay and verify again okay so i click on sign up and as you can see the username is already taken email address is already in use that is because I have already created my account. But uh, for you, uh, you can actually uh, create the account in this way. And then it will take you to the next step wherein it is going to send a uh, verification link on your email address. Whatever email address you have provided here. Yeah. So for now, we can um, skip this part uh, and directly click on sign in. So I key in my user ID docker that is uh, 369 pro it and the password for this id i click on sign in and i i can click on save uh, to save my password okay so this is the portal of uh, docker this is the page you will get it once you sign in to docker um, we will first start downloading the desktop uh, which is required. Uh, it is called as Docker Desktop for Windows. Click on save file. As you can see, the download is started. Okay. In the meantime, let's uh, visit the various uh, features of this particular uh, portal. I'll click on close for now. Okay, and in the meantime, you can have a look. Uh, so you can actually create a repository. You can create an organization. Okay, I'll click on close here. 
and yes i mean these are the various images that you can use and develop your applications on top of those images yeah so it has all these sort of images it has tons of images yeah you can see it's in nginx mongodb alpine node redis and other uh, images are there okay we, we are going to discuss in details uh, in the coming lecture on that yeah now let's look at what the status of our download so it's almost complete uh, we'll wait for a few seconds to uh, for the download to complete and then we'll kick start with the installation okay so download is now complete and we are now going to start with the installation so i'll double click out there so out here it is asking for enabling the hyper-v windows feature and adding a shortcut so i'll click on ok and um, the installation is started as you can see so as, as i informed you earlier in my earlier lectures here um, docker as an application will be sitting on top of a hyper-v layer yeah so uh, Docker is also a virtualization technique, but I would say it's an enhanced virtualization technique because it is not requiring it, it is not required to install a guest operating system uh, on top of host operating system. So you just can install only the apps and libraries that are required for running an application. So that's the beauty. I'll it will take few minutes. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and come back. I've opened my command prompt. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to So I've opened my command prompt. All right. Uh, so here's the first command docker hyphen hyphen version. And this should give me the running version and it is 19.03 so we are running the latest version as of date yeah now look at the other command which is docker hyphen hyphen help so this will list out all the commands that docker has as of now okay we're going to run through each of these commands in the future lecture but uh, you can see it has a big list of commands but um, if you compare uh, the application such as docker which is uh, so vital uh, this list of commands is not so huge it's actually very very uh, less okay we are going to run through each of these commands and we are going to see the same commands um, if they are actually going to be part of uh, linux uh, when we install linux yeah so what we have done is today is we have installed docker on windows yeah and we have ran uh, the commands uh, docker hyphen hyphen version to see what is the current uh, running version of docker and we have actually ran one more command docker hyphen hyphen help to see all the commands that are available with docker yeah so uh, uh, we'll end our lecture for now uh, and i would actually if if you're uh, not clear on this uh, you can view the past lectures about virtualization about docker and then uh, you can actually go through the steps uh, how we have installed docker uh, on windows in the next lecture we are going to look at installing docker on linux yeah so that is the uh, i mean that is the version which we are going to use most in our coming uh, lectures yeah so i hope you are enjoying all these videos and you are learning quite a few things um, keep watching and keep learning. Until next time. Thank you.